Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. First, I want to take this time to welcome you to this very special open collaboration that I host each year. This is my second time hosting this, and I plan to continue each year because this is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Now, as you know, October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and I, Simone, am a survivor. This takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of just knowing yourself to be able to come forward to tell that you are a survivor. There are so many people that are in this situation, men and women, and um, I just want to let people know that they are not alone. I had always made it my mission that if I ever got out of that situation, that I would be a vessel to bring the word and also just to bring this awareness to other women and men that are also in this situation as well. Now, the name of this collaboration is called called Victor, not Victim. I'm going to go over this lovely tablescape, but I want you to know that it's not really about the tablescape. It's about bringing awareness. It's about bringing education, and it's about letting others know about this very touchy, delicate, but need to know subject. All right, my lovelies, let's begin. All right, my lovelies, once again, I want to thank you for stopping by the channel to participate or to be educated on this very sensitive matter. Now, as we know, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and for nearly three decades, which is 30 years, Domestic Violence Awareness Month has been observed nationally in the month of October. And it gives an opportunity to bring light to the issue of domestic violence and the effects on victims, survivors, families, communities, and children as well. Now, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, one in three women and one in four men have been victims of physical violence by an intimate partner within their lifetime. And you know, guys, the sad thing about it is the victim doesn't look like some person that's way out there or far out. It looks like you. It looks like me. And sometimes people hide this within. I can speak in my own situation. There were many times that I would go to work and people would say, oh, you're so nice, you're so beautiful, you have a loving personality, but no one ever knew um, the things that I was going through at home. Now, this is not to tell my business, but this is to bring awareness to others, guys. There are so many women and there are so many men that go through this on a daily basis. And I want people to know that they are not alone. There are so many resources that we have today that can help people. Um, but first, you have to want to help yourself. But you know, when I say that, I can't really say that because a lot of times uh, victims do want to help themselves, but they don't know how to go about it. A lot of women depend on men. They depend on them emotionally, financially, and they have children. They might have baggage that they are not able to really get out there like they want to. So they sit back and they take the violence. But ladies, if you're in this situation, I I want you to know that you don't have to. A lot of times we're afraid of the unknown. We don't know. A lot of times fear is put in our heart and we think that we can't do it. But now I'm going to quote a Bible scripture. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. So if you are ever in this situation and you don't know what to do, first of all, there is help. Second of all, pray and ask God for guidance. Now, during the month of October, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, this is a time to recognize the victims, the survivors, the family members, the children, and the loved ones who have been affected by domestic violence. Now, doing my research, um, I wanted to find out how can we know the phases or the cycle um, of domestic violence. And by doing research, I found out there are three phases in the domestic violence cycle. It is tension that builds up. That's a phase. It's the violent episode itself. And then there's the remorseful honeymoon phase. Now, a lot of women, you know, they go through this and then their abuser will woo them with gifts. They will woo them um, with something that they've always wanted um, to try to get them back, um, to make them 
uh, think that they're not such a bad person for doing some of the things that they did. So if you're in a relationship like that, just look at this. Look and see if you see these three patterns. Ladies, no one should be made to feel like they're less than. No one should be made to feel like they have to be a punching bag for someone else's um, issues or trauma. You know, they say hurt people hurt people. So we have to make sure that in our homes, especially with our children, that we build them up. You know, a lot of us have made mistakes in the past. A lot of us have went through trauma ourselves. So when we get in a relationship, we bring that trauma, plus we have more trauma and all that trauma adds up. And then our children see these things and then that can spill over into their lives as well. So it's very important that we try to get the help that we need so the cycle does not be repeated. Now I'm talking a lot about women but um, men are affected by this as well. There are men that are in these situations. Whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, um, no one needs this in their lives. So I encourage anyone that is going through this to make sure that you get the help that you need. Don't be afraid. Don't think that you're the only one because there are so many people that are in your situation. But we will never know if we don't speak up. We will never know if we don't get the help that we need. There there is always someone there to help you. All right, guys, once again, I want to thank you for stopping by to be educated on this very sensitive subject. But I also want you to know if you ever feel that you're in this situation, there are avenues for you to go to. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-7233, and it is a 24-7 number. They are always there. Guys, I'm letting you know that I've been there. I've done that. You can make it. You can thrive again. You can accomplish. You can dream. You can hope. And most of all, you can have peace and joy in your life. So I'm telling you, if you're in this situation, please get the help that you need. All right, my lovelies. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.